you may use less widgets on the mobile. To do so, the key is to move widgets to the pending list other than delete them, so they are only available on the desktop. Here comes the demo for mobile optimization. In our last demo, we'll walk through how to deliver mobile-friendly dashboards using Experience Builder in what we'll call two dashboards, one intelligent URL. We'll start with a blank full screen application and add in an embed widget. And we'll have the embed widget take up the entire screen size. Then we'll grab the URL of our full screen dashboard and enter it as the URL for our embed widget. Then we'll go to our mobile device configuration. Here, You'll notice our embed widget is already in the pending list, meaning it's part of our greater experience, but won't display on a smaller screen device. Now we'll add in another embed widget for our mobile experience and set that to take up the full screen. Now we'll get the URL of our mobile dashboard and add it as the URL for our mobile embedded experience. Finally, we'll go ahead and add in a window or a splash screen. Now, windows are a great way to add some information to users or talk about compliance or understanding how to use an application when someone first enters it. And the great thing about them is that they're responsive on both full screen and mobile applications. We'll go ahead and save and then preview our application. And you'll notice that when it loads, we're already gone ahead and we're greeted with our window. And if we move into a mobile experience, we have that same window there. We can agree to the terms and conditions. And you'll notice that we're within the same URL, but able to move between the mobile dashboard and the full screen one because Experience Builder is auto detecting screen, the screen size and adjusting the layout to serve us the correct size dashboard. Mm -hmm.